Hello, devils and dollar store Sephiroths. My name is TB Skyne, and welcome yeah. back to Baldur's so Gate 3, where we've just survived a vicious attack on the last light in by a guy who really should have asked for cooler and better things than ratty ass wings from his now chosen patron deity or whatever. And now we've got a bunch of harpers here who say, hey, how about we go and do an ambush in order to get a hold of the whatever it is that these people that the cult uses to not die out here? And I'm like, that's cool. How about you tell me where it is so I don't have to take you with me because you're NPCs and that nev I, you're gonna run into an AoE and die, all of you. And that annoys me, but okay, Perfect. like, fine. And just when will that be? When I give the word, to. say the word, and we set the ambush in motion. Well, let's take on that convoy. You lead, I'll follow. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Harper's with me. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. On my way. Okay, we'll just follow those guys then. Couldn't you have marked it on my, my map and just stayed here so I wouldn't have to deal with protecting Keep you? Steady. We're closing in. Well, that seems like a lot of dead people. Oh. Looks like they lost a fight. Yeah, no shit. Okay, I'll have to come back to them later. Perfect spot for an ambush. Get into position. Hell. What a thrill. <clears throat> no, I don't want to pickpocket from them. Jeez. I just want a little look. Hmm. Just wanted to be hidden. We bring <gasps> Ooh, a drider! Church every day, my queen. Your followers are legion. Go. We'll wait for your signal. Will stand ready, Majesty. Soon, oh, he's nasty. Soon the world will bow to you. Here, where boss? Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? I have proficiency in sneaking. Okay, well, hmm. Clear your throat to make yourself known. Yeah, fuck it. We're gonna try and talk our way out of this, cause that's what I do. What's this? The Drider's eyes cut through the darkness, locking on you as your parasite squirms with excitement. Your minds connect, and you hear a voice whispering to you. The Absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the darkness. One of your true souls, my queen. How have they survived? <laughs> You know what they say, a ballad a day keeps the darkness away. <laughs> Just sell off the harpers for him? Nah. The Absolute protected me. You bless them too, my queen. Wh where is the lantern? Drow deception. Advantage. The Absolute guided me here. She said a mere drider was not worthy, that I must take your lantern. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I st I'm still gonna make it, but come on! Majesty, is, is this true? Did I not serve you well? Very well. If it is your will, you can have it! Good. You may go now. 
What do you mean, go? We can't go without you. The shadows will tear us to pieces. This is not Her Majesty's will. Hmm. Vala, vale, idiote. <laughs> You now carry the blessing of the absolute. You'll be safe. I am good at lying. If it is a majesty's will. <sighs> you can't be serious. You know what's out there. If it is her majesty's will, then we shall walk. She will protect us. She... She must. I'm sorry, buddy. But, uh, I would have liked to know more about him. Anyway, they're all gonna die. A lot. I'd never believe it if I hadn't just seen it. Nicely done. Now let's see what we've got here. Yeah, well, at least now I don't have to protect you. Like it was either that or kill him in battle, I guess. But man, more to conquer. There's very no least, way. for every beast we slay, the shadows fall to God, why so glum? We hit the cult where it hurts. Lantern gives off a chilly glow protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Incredible magic. I can feel the light lifting the shadows, even those within me. Be safe and be brave. We expect no less. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. Yeah, that was about to say. These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery, sometimes playful, Sometimes malicious. Oh, please. Oh, golly me, oh, my. You must release me or I'll die. Dolly, dolly, dolly. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Hmm. Legends tell of the Fae trapping people, not the other way around. Why are you in there? My pixie dust is bright as day. My injuries can light the way. Hmm. Quite clever. And cruel, of course. Creatively so. Who are you? My name. My name is Dolly Thrice. Now won't you free me from this vice? I need protection from this curse. If I release you, will you help me travel through the shadows? It would be my pleasure, truly. Once I'm freed, I'll help you, duly. <laughs> Smash the lantern on the ground. No. Uh, what's this mechanism at the base of the lantern? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. Turn the mechanism. I don't think so. No. Uh, this might be a bad idea, but my character, like, I really do feel my character is like somewhere on the chaotic, neutral, chaotic good spectrum in the sense that they value freedom, like, very, very highly, almost above all else. And you're right, Athena, uh, Athena Kaisen. It does sound a lot like Gwen's voice actor. Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? We need to get through the shadows curse. Can you help? Sure I can, but will I? Yeah, sure, why not? Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the Shadow Curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. <laughs> Curious little thing. We do get to see some interesting things. Almost makes the mortal peril worth it. Almost. This ornately decorated bell tarnished with age rings with a mischievous giggle, not unlike its pixie enchanter. Now we have protection from the shadow curse. Aha. No, no, I want you to actually lockpick it. I guess you still have guidance on. 
Oh, come on. There we go. Crown of Madness. Lovely. Okay, right. First thing, I want to go back and find those dead Mom? tieflings. Ah, oh, man. Rough way to go. I feel like I remember some of these names from the druid camp. Yeah, I do. I'm just terrible at remembering names. Okay, uh, where is my... there. Like, none of them are glowing, so just have to try. The corpse remains silent. Indeed. Anyone else want to chat? Kind of doesn't look like it. I mean, if they just want to be dead in peace, I'm happy to give that to them. Right. We need to go to the Mason's Guild, because that's probably where the Saluna stuff is stashed. Possibly. Or there's something there. Uh, let's see. There's Moonrise Towers. There's... We need to wake up Art. We can go out north and explore as well. Oh, so many things to explore! Prime spot for an ambush. Yeah. Oh! Can devour any creature that is restrained and steeping in its style. <laughs> oh, God. Can't be surprised. Automatically attack an enemy with a shadow curse. Lightning resistance. Fire resistance. Necrotic resistance. Cult resistance. Level 9. And it has like two level 6 bastards with it. Okay. How far away am I from a level up? I'm a ways away, okay. I probably can't get myself up to level 8 before I do this. And it has like. Oh, fuck, it has like a ton of little guys. Okay. I think I would want to open that fight with like a fireball here from Will. So let's just not do that right now. Excellent. Hells! The curse has torn open the ground itself. Hey, another night orchid. What's in here? Poor Kolak. She can finally seek out the touch of another, only to be told she might not have much time left. Ah, I was kind of hoping I could give you the... How beautiful it must be to know you can hold a hand, caress a cheek after going so long without. We'll get Karlak fixed up, right? There's always a way. There has to be. I mean, I think so, but who knows? Shadowed Battlefield. Ooh. Dead Gith Yankee. Hmm. Maybe I want to bring Lazel for that. Yeah. Karlak, could you... Oh, Board Gamer, thank you for resubscribing. Copper for your thoughts. You got your second upgrade. How does it feel? Like I got something back. Something I've wanted for a really long time. When I touched you, I felt like... a real person. My heart was racing. But I didn't hurt you. I don't have to be afraid of myself anymore. I don't have to hold back. <laughs> Not sure the world's ready for Unleashed Karlak, but it's getting it anyway, thanks to Damon. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thanks to fate. Hmm, what'll you do with your newfound freedom? Touch! Touch everything! Touch everyone that'll let me. Shake hands, dance a waltz, 
Maybe even kiss a face or two if I find a good candidate. The world's my fun house. <laughs> thank you for resubscribing on Celia. Thank you for the Bsus money. Well, I'm very glad that you got what you wanted. Me too, soldier. Gods, me too. For every knock we take, I feel like I get a little treat just to keep me going. What about what Damon said about how your engine won't survive in the material plane? Ugh, I don't want to think about that now. Misery always overstays its welcome, and joy leaves too soon. I'll cry later, but not now. Good attitude. I'm with you. Anyway, stay in camp for a hey, sec, soldier. would you? You'll need to stay in camp for now. Really? Really, really? Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. <laughs> Lazel, we found a death gif. You want to come take a look? Death is soon to take Karlak. She should make every moment as rich as the last. Fight viciously, roar loudly, step boldly. She must make herself known. Well, I'd like you to join me. It is done. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, I didn't pick up any new stuff that you might use, did I? Nah. Is that blood? No. At the ready. Oh, <laughs> the game is saving, okay. <laughs> she was no fun. All I wanted was to play! Indeed. Corpse too damaged. Oh, well, that... That's, uh, lovely. Cool. Great. Maybe I want to... You want to talk. Okay. Maybe I want to banish you back to the Shadow Realm? Hide and seek. Will you play with me? I can play you a little song. Do you like that? Not that kind of playing, silly. I want to play a game. It'll be really fun. Let me show you. In a moment, maybe. Have you seen another little boy? His name is Thaniel. I don't know anyone called that. Don't ask me again. Now play with me. Well, this is gonna go great. Don't you have anyone else to play with? I have a mummy, a daddy, and a doggy. They'll be back in a while, but you're here now, and I want to play. What are your parents' names? Maybe I can find them. They don't need names. They just need to be mummy and daddy and do what I want. Now play with me, or they'll be angry with you. The boy doesn't like these questions because he has no real answers, and perhaps no real family. Hmm. Sorry. I don't think they're coming back. Want to come to my camp? I'm not going anywhere. I like it here. Now play with me or else. You want to play? Fine. All right. I'll hide and you seek. Find me and you win. And if I don't find you? Then you lose. Hmm. This will go well. Get ready. And no cheating. This is where the ability to see invisible things would come in handy. A sore loser. Well, let's play again then. Good idea. You're smarter than some playmates I've had. They always tried to leave before I was done with them. 
Try to find me again, but my family will be looking for you at the same time, so don't get caught! These birds have seen everything. Best mummy ever. Strongest daddy ever. Now I'm worried about the dog. Doggy! Which has a shadow veil. Because it is obscured, it is resistant. Ah. Cool! That's great! Are they undead, though? I should check. Oh, we have the resistance to all of the things I see. Sunlight sensitivity, though. Good. Nearby lights are extinguished in the presence of this creature's roiling darkness. Well, not the one I have. Affected entity is incorporeal and can't be shoved, thrown, or used as an improvised weapon. <laughs> okay. So, immune to poison and necrotic. That makes sense. All of the elementals and... Uh, Non-magical. Okay, so magical weapons still hurt them normally. And all of my mag weapons are magical. So that's good. And I suppose you're much the same. Yeah. All right. Zell, really? Guess it's bound to happen sometimes. Hmm. I think I might want to keep the spell slots for other things. You're threatened, right? Yeah. That's one. Oh, so much for peace. Indeed. Hey, hey. My life, hot, hot, hot. boring, boring. Daddy used Daddy's lecture. Oh no! Don't call it that. Daddy infuses his hands with putrefying energy to discipline his naughty children. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't call it that. No, I don't suppose the kiss thing. They don't count as undead. No, constructs. Wraith. Yeah. Don't want to spend a level three spell slot, but oh, stop running away, you little bastard! Corpses behind these things, Not do they? Then through. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hey, buddy. Uh, how? Uh, hmm. How did you die? I guess that's obvious. Are there other Githyanki nearby? Not in the shadow. 
atop the mountain, reaching to the sun. Well, we already knew that. Um, why were you here? Training, becoming a Sar, leading my kin. Okay. I know how I fight the curse. How did you die? Foolish games. Shadow. Ambushed. Shameful death. Dishonor to Flacketh. You'll be alright. You know what? Let's at least remember their name. Who were you? Deathka. Warrior for my queen. Blade for my Kithrak. Where are you from? Crash Yillik. Hidden among the mountains. Veiled by ruins. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Alright, Tor will do the trick. Ring of Mental Inhibition. When a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells or actions, they gain mental fatigue for two turns. Minus one penalty to saving throws. Oh, cool. Dad's Axe. An old woodcutter's axe infused with a shadow's bleak curse. Very well. Found you again. I win. I always win in the end. You did better than most, though, so I'll let you go. Here. Second prize. You'll need it. <laughs> oh, so if I hadn't been found by the monsters, I could have got a better thing then? I guess. Okay. I won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Go on. Find someone else to play with. What are you, kiddo? Is that the only thing there? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. <clears throat> so this is where we did the ambush. There's probably a chest or something in here. I do want to see if I can't find the corpses of the, that poor drider. <laughs> <laughs> and the guys with them. <sighs> oh, hello. A key. Presumably a key for something. I wonder what that something is. Oh, there's a chest. Aha! Okay. Maybe that's what the key's for. Yoink! Hey! Hammer Grim Mist Amulet. One of the relics of Deep Dara's rebellious children drugging the gate key keeper of Dara's vaults. The children crept in under the cover of night and plundered their mother's treasures, seeking desperately for anything that would aid in their flight. It's something. Looks like... Hmm. What's that? Good question, what is that? A movable brick. Potter's chest key. Oh. Right. Affected entity will attack as soon as enemies are within reach. Measle. Twisted, cruel hermits in infected by this shadow fell. Imbued with magic, they move through shadows to snatch their victims. Okay. So you're just vaguely annoying. Just not deal with you yet, then. Hey, you seem to be dead. The corpse regards you, 
lifelessly. What is your profession? How did you end up here? Trapped shadow mastiffs repelled them with flame. Good to know. Hear that. The lights might fend them off, but those mastiffs are still lurking about. Hmm. Who were you in life? Nah. What is your profession? Wizard. General Thorn's favorite. How are the torches still burning? Spell. Continual flame. How can I extinguish the torch flames? Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? I guess that's the most interesting information we can get, though. Destroy torches. Hmm. Who were you in life? True soul of the absolute. Call is my name. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no. Will all the vods questions. eventually be on the vod channel? Yes, and they are right now. Actually, if you're a subscriber or a channel member. You can watch the VODs now, if you want. Otherwise, you'll have to wait for them to come out as my editor finishes with them. Okay, so I guess if I want to fight the Shadow Hounds... I would have to extinguish the torches. But, you know. Oh, there's the Potter's Chest for which the key is. Right, well, since I've kinda spotted you guys, how do you guys feel about uh, Fireball? Like, what's, what's, your, what's your general mood and feeling and vibe about, like, being, th having fire thrown in your face? What's, uh, what's, what's your, what's your opinion on that? What's your, uh, <laughs> oh, we were surprised after all? <laughs> Where's the potter's chest? There. One day I'll catch a break. Can you just jump up there? Thank you. Open up. Luminous gloves. When the wearer deals radiant damage, receive one turp of radiating orb. Idol of Salune. And an unadorned note. Moon Maiden, protect those of us who would not turn from you, no matter the consequences in this short life. Keep these artifacts of our devotion until such a time as we may openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Grant cunning to my brother Halfred in his efforts to conceal the rest of your relics. Let the name Last Light not be important. Let your moon glow continue forever and fill our hearts. Well, yeah. Didn't turn out so well. up and ready to fight. Oh, and there's a forge down here, or a fireplace at least. Oh. Step carefully. There's a trap. Ah, trip wire. Okay, that that in that guidance turned out to be crucial. See, Harper interrogation transcript. Official interrogation transcript. Harper in charge, Calado of Everspring. Transcriber, Luna Shorn. See, your name. Dahl. Dahl Timberman. Occupation? Farmer man. Potatoes. A farmer. Hmm. How many guards has Thorm stationed at the south wall, Dahl Timber? What do you mean, south wall? Do not play the fool with me, Timber. The moonrise south wall. I don't know. I swear it. Liar! Write this down, Luna. Thorm's spy refuses to cooperate. Harsher measures required. I said write it down! Well, that, uh, yeah. The Harpers aren't always nice. A ring of twilight. You gain armor class while obscured. Well, that doesn't really do much for me.
Am I going towards Moonrise Towers now? No, I'm going towards the Mason's Guild. Good. Whoop. Though I must admit I'm a little concerned about that. You all with me? Good. Things seem particularly dark in here. Best be on my way. The music has also like picked up a lot of tension. Well, I'm not seeing any enemies. Doesn't mean they're not here, though. See that symbol on the ground? That was a Mason's Guild. Corpses on display. Perhaps someone didn't appreciate the Mason's stonework. Yeah. Perhaps that's all it was. Ooh, they don't seem to be doing so hot. And there's kind of a lot of them. They're all level 6, too. Yeah, annoying. I mean, I can take him, but, you know. Okay, let's explore the building first, then. Oh, I kind of like that. Look, it's statues in various stages of completion. Would there be a way to get in there without having to go through the front door, necessarily? I guess up the ladder and then jump in through the roof? That seems like a surefire way to take fall damage, though. Hmm. Front door it is! Knock, knock. His bones and lies exposed. A pile of crushed bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Ominous. But interesting, I'll grant. Oh, maybe jumping through the roof you can get to something... Upstairs-ish. Ah, yeah, it kind of looks like maybe that's an option to... Okay, well. We've come this far. So let's just keep going. Scroll of burning hands, thieves tools, disarm toolkit, thank you. Oh, a hatch leading down. Only good things happen deep in the earth. Especially around people who mine rocks for a living. Infernal iron, aha! Gimme, 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 gimme. I don't know how much of it Carlag actually needs, but... More can only be better. Then through the hatch, I need to see what's down there. My curiosity will be the death of me if I play this game correctly. Okay, there's an elevator. Huh. Not much down here, ultimately. That's oh, or maybe I'm wrong about that. Right, doll will do the trick. A 
has a high DC. But nothing we can't handle! Oh, hello! Note from the Mason. Congratulations on finding this place, thief. But your journey ends here. Okay, so that sounds like go slowly. And spot traps. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's that um, that's very trappy. That's trapperific. Hey Lazel. A purpose. I shouldn't linger. Can't throw too heavy. Okay, but that thing's trapped, right? Something like Oh that. yeah. I was like, I'd just move it out of the way, because, like, whatever trap it is, I bet it's something to do with those, like, uh, uh, like, girders or something will rise up. Ah, that's not ideal. That's even less ideal. we go and it's empty of course it is I mean it was an obvious trap like, <laughs> so, like I can't say I, 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 yeah I spent two inspiration on it but like I should maybe have known better than that Uh, who is doing the seeing here? You are doing the seeing. I see. Okay. I see. On my way. Where could we go to hit the maximum number of you? With a fireball. Carefully drawn diagram of Moonrise Towers. A circle of red ink draws your attention as though something has been stashed in the tower's Someone's prison a dungeon. At the base of Moonrise Towers. Worth a look. There's no time to waste. Keep low and quiet. I see a way. Something over there. Aha! Okay, good. Eyes open, mouth shut. No, don't. Don't try and pickpocket from Lazelle, you dum dum. Oh, they have pretty high dexterity, but terrible wisdom, charisma, and int. Good. Have you not? Oh my god. Guess we just blast him. Okay, they're not as powerful as the ones the kid had. At least most of them aren't. That one is. And then a bunch of them can go invisible in shadow. Makes sense. Okay, well, Will, could you get into the light, please, and stay there? Well, everyone's in the combat rotation now. Uh, Got to focus. Shadow Heart. Let's just... Oh, hey, look who showed up.
Strength Drain? Oh, I'd rather that didn't happen. Oh, hey, Amber Heart. You guys just get a disengage effect for free? Oh, screw you. Path is interrupted now. Oh my god, okay. Hello, my dear. Goodbye to you. Not comes easy these days. Man, do we really have to? There you are. Okay then, where the hell's the last- Are you still like over there? Are they getting here? What's going on? Would you come over here, please? Oh my god, okay. No, because I don't know where the hell it is. It's a waste of spell. There you are. Moving. Eh. Took a second. A happy, faded memory comes to you. A woman walking along a beach, holding hands with her husband to be. A distant memory of a man stretching his back with a groan. Another day of hauling masonry blocks done. The gods are watching me. Calloused hands work a hammer and chisel around a massive slab of rock. Months from now, a face will take shape. You sense this one hid for days as the sounds of battle got closer and closer to town. You didn't even care who won, so long as it ended. Before the shadows, there was once a house full of warmth and children's laughter in this one's life. No more. You can almost taste the sour ale that once clung to this soul's breath. He was insensible when the shadows came for him. Probably the best way to go out, honestly. <laughs> Jake's Encyclopedia of Eels. <laughs> Forward, no one wants to read about eels, eh? You stuck up candle keep kids can keep your books on magic and demons and celestial bodies. People are practical folk, and they want to read practical things. Can't make a pie out of stars, can you? No, eels is important. Right, let's get one thing straight. Giant lightning eels? Not technical eels. They look like them, sure, and everyone calls them eels, but the shape of the head, the bone structure, you can't tell me that's the same as a giant moray. Now, where can you catch eels? 
bloody everywhere. From Neverwinter to Elturel to Callumport, you can find an eel, but where do they breed and how? Well, you probably heard the stories that they're just snakes that learn to swim, or they're baby leviathans, or they're underdark spies, but that's all bunkum. They breed in the Sea of Moonshay, I'm sure, and then swim all over Faerun. And if those pricks in Candlekeep would give me the money to sail there, I'd be able to prove it. But no, they're too busy studying demon puzzle boxes and mumbling about whatever Aluando said years ago. Bet Al couldn't tie a good fishing knot for nothing. The book carries on like this for several pages before finally returning to the subject of eels. Anything of use? I want that one. <clears throat> Mason's log. <clears throat> How quickly things change. The Thorns are cellunite through and through, or so I believed. Perhaps Catherine only converted for Melodia, and with her death and then his daughter's, his faith died too. But to turn to Shar? It beggars belief. Oh, thank you very much, Saigarn. Catherine's just this year's are growing greater in numbers and more determined to rout out any traces of cellune in Wraithwin. Why do they think this town was built? One cannot rip out the foundations of a building and expect it to remain standing. Brother and I remain the last two bastions of Our Lady of Silver in the town. A few, the trusting few, come to worship in secret by moonlit nights. Others, converts all. Whether they truly believe, I cannot say. Impossible, isn't it? Sick of standing idle while just justiciars gain power in our humble town. What will become of us if we allow, allow it? I met a man who was no man, touched by a devil, or maybe worse, but he offered me something I couldn't refuse. Help. The time is now. Catherick's justiciers in their stronghold in the temple below. They will be wiped out, all of them. I didn't ask how. I just want them gone. Let the Harpers have a Catherick now. They'll make short work of him. Oh. Seems simple enough. Halfred, you're probably surprised that I'm writing, though no more surprised than me. You warned me of Thorm's malice, yet I took up hammer and trowel to build that cursed tower. You warned me of the coming war, and yet I built the prison that was con would contain his foes. You warned me, and I did not listen. It is my deepest regret, and I must atone. I know more about the tower's construction than anyone, and possess innumerable tools and supplies besides. Gather your allies at last light, and let us devise a plan to infiltrate Moonrise. Catherick plans for war. He expects to face halberds and staves in the light of day. We will end him with a dagger to the back before he can so much as raise a blade. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope that you'll try, your brother, Morfred. More for me. Yoink. 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 I'm sure the food is fine. Like some 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 fermented wine that's been in the shadow fell for a dimension for a few years. That's fine, isn't it? Captain, there's a trap. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Oh, come on! I should have brought a Sterian. Well, there goes my inspiration. Ow. Helmet of Arcane Acuity. Whenever you deal damage with a weapon attack, you gain Arcane Acuity for two turns, which gives you plus one to attack roll, spell attack rolls, and difficulty class. Oh. Plus two, actually. That's not bad at all. And in fact, I know exactly who will benefit from it the most. Dear William. Can't give up now. Let's see. Uh, there's ahead. nothing. No the wardrobe. Trans, Any cool clothes? Comfortable red and blue outfit. I'll take those. At some point, I'm gonna try on all the all the clothes I've picked up and see if I can't find some nicer outfits for some people at camp. <laughs> ah. 
I spent ages sorting my potions so that all the healing would be up here. But then, like, you pick up two or three things, and the game just reorders everything in your hotbar automatically in a very annoying way. Ugh. <laughs> Hey, scrolls. Nice. And I'm encumbered. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I need, I need to do some serious inventory management. Well, that figures. Get the carrying weight of my bard under control. Okay. So, like, is that everything down here? Yes, so. Here we go. We'll just light some lights as we leave. For the sake of it. Hmm, I don't suppose these walls are breakable or something. No? No, doesn't seem like it. Fair enough. Now to figure out how to operate that elevator. Oh, like that. Please, please, please be all right. Oh, that, hmm. That's, mm, either that's actually a kid, or it's a problem. Okay. Hey, what are you doing here? She was cowed to Korga's snake. Sorry. It knocks the wind right out of me. Quite a powerful spell. I bet there's great, a great story behind you learning it. That druid idol I took? It changed me. I can do all sorts of stuff now. Not just the vines. I think real hard and say some loud words and then it happens. Mostly. Oh, you became a sorcerer. <laughs> Or a druid, but, hmm. Well, normally stole, tales of stolen artifacts are tragedies. I'm glad you've bucked that trend. Tragedies? Them's the sad ones, right? I hope not. Especially since Mom and Pops, after Zevlor, when he... Well, there was an ambush. Mom yelled, run! So we ran. I could hear him run behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me, I just know it. <sighs> Forget it, kid. You can take care of yourself from the looks of it. I'll find your parents. You can count on me. Oh, thanks so much. I knew you'd help me again. The vines won't last forever. I don't... I don't suppose I can stay with you. Just till you find Mum and Pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear it. it, it like, you are... You know what? Yeah, you can stay in my camp. I, 
I'm not so sure the last light in is necessarily that much safer. Oh, thanks. You're the best. So you send Mum and Pops there. I'll be waiting, hero person. Okay, well, that gets her out of trouble for the moment. Weave-bound vines, crafted from the very weave itself, a most unorthodox enchantment. I should probably kill them, shouldn't I? I mean, sorry, but, you know, you are demons from the Shadowfell. And you're gonna get loose eventually. Just barely not enough. Oh, come on! That's so close! You sense a swell of grief. Before the shadows took her, this woman mourned someone lost in battle. You sense a matriarch's flush of pride. She will soon be a grandmother, and the child will bear her name, Muldred. Father, can I go? It is impressive that they... Here lies faithful Jamie, the love of all our lives. That they recorded voice lines for, like, all of the... All of the shadow vestiges. True love's caress. One of a magical pair of rings. This allows the wearer to receive warding bond from the wearing the matching ring. In the fifth year of our union, we faced the biggest hurdle yet. My parents became quite ill and we became their caretakers. It was a dark and difficult time filled with emergencies of every possible type. Gone were the easeful days in which our time was our own. Our days were filled with work, each other, and little else. During our darkest moments, we I wondered if we'd survive it, but the bond of our love was resilient. It could bend and bend, but would not break no matter the pressure. Well, well, maybe eventually it did. So I Let's guess we see. could try and find the... Come on, open up matching ring and get permanent warding bond from that? That's pretty good. <laughs> Graveyard diary. The moment is nigh. War has been brewing and now it overflows. When Catherick turned us towards Shah, I followed him. In appearance, if not in heart. This is my home and I would not be removed from it, no matter what. I watched at a distance as the darkness here grew. Catherick's grief brought him farther and farther from life itself. As he gathered his army, I prayed for his defeat. As the Harpers march upon our little village, our little beautiful village, I can only hope Catherick will be felled at last and Wraithwind will keep, can begin to heal from this nightmare. Didn't work out that way, unfortunately. Huh. Boots of apparent death allows the wearer to cast Fame Death. God, this game is dense. I've said it a million times. Like, I know, but... It really is wild just how much is in here. Okay. We're getting close to... The House of Healing. Oh, shit. Oh, no. The Wraithwind Houses of Healing's inventory of various poultices, tonics, and potions. Supplies appear to have dwindled dramatically in its final days, and upon the book's front cover is scrawled a message in black ink. Justiciers only, no exception.
An old map in a druidic style. Oh, thank you very much, Pepper Morlin. Uh, of what appears to be a hidden routes out of the Emerald Enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate and a note is attached. Take only what you can carry. Go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them. You can't afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. Good luck. Um, hello, Don't ghost. Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions, switches. I know I can do this. Oh, you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. Ugh. I know that corpse. Oh, no. Arabella's father met a most unpleasant end. Why are you treating a dead body? Not dead. Merely medicated. To ease the pain. Sleight of hand, give this corpse a subtle poke. I think, yeah. <laughs> Oops. No inspiration left. I have some inspiration left. I'll use it. Don't necessarily want to piss her off. I see movement. The patient's awake. Hello? Can you hear me? Now that's sorted. Uh, might I purchase some supplies? Not much left now, but you're welcome to look. Purple worm toxin poison. 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 <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Well, that's not ideal, is it? Karabasan's poison. Paralysis and poisoning. Oh, well, that's not great. That's kind of terrible, actually. I'll keep one idol of Saloon, just in case it maybe does something. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to tend to my patient. Hey, Locke. Um... The corpse regards you lifelessly. Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, why were you in this place? How did you die? Surgeon. Sisters. Why were you in this place? Sephlor. Betrayed. Ran. They tried to shelter here. Oh, where's Sevlor now? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Mm, fair enough. Where are you from? Eldrell. Yeah. Remind me, who are you? Lock. Husband to Kumira. Father to Arabella. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more. Questions. Right. So. Yeah. So what it looks like is that she's an undead who's sort of trapped in a fantasy of helping people. But. Wish I had a bag of holding. All she has on her is poison and, like, the implements of murder. Staff bedding pool? House of Healing staff pool. Rules. Foreign body must be lodged in redacted cavity. Once a guess is made, it may not be made again. Minimum bet is 1 GP. Round 1 bets. Pool. 11 GP. Chicken egg. Wine bottle. Carrot. Candlestick. Winner! Ogre's finger. Hmm. Round 2. Live rat. Winner! And yuck. Children's doll. Pearl necklace. Marbles, potato, minotaur horn. Round three. 
Quill, cremation urn, flute, whipping cane, troll's tooth. Well. Not gonna ask any questions about how it got in there, I guess. I'll do better. And the patients will be better. And it will all be fine. Okay. Ah. Uh, would the right thing to do be to take her out and, like, put her to rest? Just so she can't, you know, do this again. Surgeon's Memorandum. To all Rethwin House of Healing Medical Personnel, from Malice Thorm, Head Surgeon. It has come to my attention that our so-called caregivers are wasting precious anesthetic resources on the elderly and the mortally wounded. Nurse Lidwin informs me this practice eases the suffering of the feeble and guides them to our lady's final embrace. Never have I heard such abject nonsense. Anesthetic is a tool to relieve my ears of my subject's screams as I apply the blade, not a mercy to be freely dispersed to living corpses. So saith, sh has saith Shah. Only in the infirm suffering may we forget our own. The next to ignore this missive will feel my scalpel without sedative. I will simply have to endure the shrieks. Charming. Yeah, shit got bad here. Shit got real bad. Here's just a Cinda. Here to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Fine, fine, I'll get in line. Be patient, be well. Yeah, they're not doing so hot, are they? This exhaustive log lists each and every patient to have sought healing in Rathwin along with their ailments. The minor injuries and common diseases of the early pages give way to critical wounds and deep lacerations, the repercussions of battle. Several unbound scrolls have been slid among the final pages, demanding that healers turn away wounded harpers and cell unites and reserve their tonics for wounded dark justiciers on the orders of Grand General Kethrick Thorne. You're not sick. Not sick at all. Wait in line. Oh, not so well. I don't have but time well to wait. I to need wait. to see the doctor right now. Join the line. Yes, yes. But all must wait. The doctor's hands are full. Join the line. You will be seen. Hmm. Well, I, I'm not a patient. I'm the doctor's new assistant. to our prayers down to the theater be swift be saved good now turn based mode if everyone else minds their business I'll be fine hide open And skedaddle. Hmm. Where am I needed? Two steps at a time. Objective noted. Don't mind me. Don't waste a step. Shadow cursed harpers and half orcs. Oh, just no, shadow cursed people. Okay. No, uh, while you're inside, please. Have to keep going. 
Thank you. Okay. Upstairs first. That's a lot of blood. Okay, so that's an elevator of some sort. Seems to be broken, though. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, 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 that's not... That's less than ideal. I need the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> I'll come back and, and say hi to the surgeon. Okay, then. Okay. Oh, nope, that works. It's just slow. Okay, uh... The pride of the gate. Action, not reaction. I'm ready. Just gonna make on sure you all get on. Let's move. Let's see what's up here. I know what's past this. Okay, I don't think there's combat up here. That will fit in my pack. Oh, I was trying to grab things that are downstairs. Elixir, toxin, combustion, bronze gauntlet, and some money. With haste. Why would you do it that way? Scroll of Banishment, nice. Oh, rooftop access. Armor, okay. What do you mean can't reach it? It's right there. Elixir of Guileful Movement. Elixir of Heroism. Okay. I would have hoped there'd be some lore... something up here. But not really so much. And I can't drop, like, the ceiling? Because, like, those things are all attached by chains, right? Can't I... Make them fall down somehow? Crush them from above? That would be very cool. Ooh, but it does provide access to... a path over there. Which I can... Oh, so you can just kind of skip. You can just kind of bypass them. By going through here. I see. Well, alright then. Huh. Is there any point to... Stuffed bear. And a potion of invisibility. was a point. A book of poetry. A book of handwritten poems, the ink almost completely faded, but for a few enduring words. 
I hold my breath for the sun to fall, for in the hot collapse of day I'm brought to you. While Wraithwind sleeps, the world entire is ours. The grass our bed, the dew our silver candles. The moon and stars our private canopy, and you the brightest of them all. My light, my heart, my world. I would watch the stars with you for, to the end of time, but night forever arches into day, and the sleepy nothing of the sunlit hours will mutter on. So instead shall I find eternity in a moment, and by the glance of moonbeams your, in your eyes will I be brought to rest, as rest should be, enduring still, long for naught but itself. Environmental Storytelling Designed to make you sad. It's an awful way to end. Okay. I could put Will up here. Like, ungroup, put him here. And just wait, and then... Fireball them, but nah. It That's the kind of thing that feels like maybe the game isn't quite designed to handle that. Urgent request for supplies. To Chief Surgeon, Harborside Hospital, Baldur's Gate. From Sister Anna Litwin, Dark Cloak, Wraithwin House of Healing. Urgent. Dear Sir or Madam, we have reached dire times in Wraithwin. War has come. Do you not teach that it is your, our duty to mend all who break, comfort all who ail, without regard for the gods they worship or the champions they heed? Yet our surgeon, Malice Thorm, abides by his own creed. The will of Shah, he might say, and I dare not argue with him or any Thorm. He allows supplies to dwindle, leaves some patient's injuries to fester so that he may study, and commands me to nurse only dark, dark justiciers that seek treatment. I beg you, sir or madam, please deliver us aid, so I might close every tear and cleanse every wound, even those of harpers and cellunites. We will humbly accept all that you can offer. Good content warning there, thank you. We will humbly accept all you can offer, potions, herbs, sutures, and even clerics. Help us to heal with gratitude, Anna Litwin. She tried to go, uh, behind his back, huh? Probably didn't work out so great for her. Let's save before we do this. But yeah, now heed the content warning in case you need to. Seems like this is about to get a little nasty. Only with The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. Oh, 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 boy! Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. I am going to fireball you to death. I want to hear what he has to say, but I think at this point my character would just be pissed. Oh, that's annoying. This flesh must be flayed. The next instrument, sister. <sighs> Will and Lazel both confused immediately. That is a problem. Yeah, not much wisdom on any of these. There's some on him, though. And he has magic resistance. Is she more powerful than the rest? No, they're the same. There we go. That works. Oh, 
Oh, because he's not in the turn order, he just gets to recover from it, like, immediately. Okay, good. Yeah, cool, great, lovely. That's wonderful. Will, why would you... Okay, well, at least you're attacking him a little bit. And I guess getting attacked doesn't shove him out of... No. Confusion. Uh, okay. Uh, and that won't recover confusion. So that's annoying. Uh, just spirit guardians them, and I guess summon the weapon again. Thank you for breaking free, Lazel. I appreciate it. Shadowheart is paralyzed. God damn it. I should have short rested. So I could have had my... I don't have a bonus action right now. I'm going to get all the critical hits in on you that I can, while I can. Oh my god! Oh, this is a fucker of an encounter. Yeah, no, this just super sucks. This, uh... This sucks a lot. Heal. And get the crits. We need him to be dead soon, fast, preferably immediately. Oh, you assholes. I hate these things. It's gonna do it again. Play cell. Play cell. Play cell. This is not going great. Fourth level cure wounds on yourself, I think? Because you can't do it to my main character because it'll kill you. Nothing important is ever easy. <laughs> it could be a little easier, though. Where is my most powerful healing potion? I have potion of greater healing, but I think I have one that's better still.
If only I could find it. No? Oh, there it is. Ugh. At least it seems like they can only use their psychic scream shit once. So that's something. Nope, they can keep using it. Fine. Fuck me then, I guess. Holy shit. Keep Lazelle out of trouble at least. Sorry, Lazal. But you have a chance to survive that. Take two, two. Okay. Now we're making progress. I am not yet dead. Hooray. Let's just make sure we keep Shadow Hard on her feet, shall we? I don't suppose you could find an angle to... Shit. No one back home will ever believe this. Jesus. Space. Fuck off. How do I get him out of here? I'm spent. I should unwind in camp. Ah, the key might do it. Paralyzing critical. Once per long rest when scoring a critical hit on the humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two rounds. Fucking hell. A battered loot. A loot with the initials AC meticulously carved into the body. Aha. 
Light on my feet. Then what the fuck am I supposed to do to help him? Not enough space. You can only save him with a knock spell? Well, that's annoying. Gail? Gail? Will, could you stay behind? I need... Gail, I really hope you have knock. I don't remember if you do. A private word would be nice. Well met. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And... I know well the pain of seeing your life's hourglass running empty. Grasping at any means of slowing the grains as they slip inexorably through your fingers. Karlak's fate may be ordained, but her actions are not. She will make each breath count. We can be sure of that. Yeah, cool. Come with me. Go ahead. I will. You don't have knock, do you? But you can learn it. There we go. Okay. Okay, Gale, would you like to make yourself super duper useful? Never a dull moment. Dude, you might not. Okay. What path lies before me? I don't. I don't know that I would have recommended running off like that. But hey, I mean, better chance than you had before. to a foe's brain and frighten them? Oh, Jesus. 8d10 damage? Oh, good grief. I'm glad he never got to do that to me. I don't think I can use it. Um, I'm pretty sure... That only works for the surgeon. <laughs> Who we are not. Okay. Right. Cool. Thanks for the help, Gale. Someone asked what Gale is wearing, by the way. He's wearing this, the graceful cloth, which gives him plus two dexterity. Um, which is a really pretty good for getting his armor class up. Yeah, and the shield doesn't do anything for him. I remember. Okay. It's also quite ugly. Yes. Yes, it is. No. Looking ahead. How can I help? I question the wisdom. I'll be here. Okay, you, you stay back in camp now. Uh, boy. Speak. Chuck. You, as you. And so can Lizelle, because I am bringing Carlac back out with me. Well, do I want Will or do I want Gale? Actually, I haven't had Gale with me in ages. Go ahead. I'll have Gale with me now. But first, I think it's time we take a long rest because that was a lot of my resources just kind of gone.
Stay quiet and watch Will dance. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I didn't see you standing there. Lost in the steps, truth be told. I need them to be just right. I wouldn't want to fail my new partner. <laughs> A new partner. And who might that be? As luck would have it, they just arrived. May I have this dance? Hmm. Dance with the devil? Most certainly not! <laughs> Smile and bow. Shit, is this like a romance scene? Like, is this one where, like, you start a relationship by doing this? Right. But also you can leave immediately. Okay, well. Smile and bow. Uh, performance, I think, is probably my best. There we go. It would have been fun with a critical failure. <laughs> How utterly charming. Now, perhaps we might try a more intimate style. I know Lazelle is, like, not at all bothered by it. missed the light. Well, it's getting late. We can't face the morrow if we don't bid farewell to the now. I'm tempted, trust me. I thought my heart might burst with every step, but I still keep faith in the old tales of love, the once upon a times and the happily ever afters. I'd like to do this the proper way. The way of the old romances sung by the bards. Till next time. Good night. And dream sweetly. Yes. Does that bother you? No, but it heightens my cravings for you. <clears throat> Not that it matters. You've made your choice. I'd only debase myself by asking you to unmake it. Oh? Hmm. I thought maybe 
Lazelle would be open to a poly relationship. The origin characters are largely monogamous. Ah, I see. That's too bad. Well, frankly, between the two of them. I'll break it off with Will. I'd rather see where things go with you. Of course you would. And if you pressed me, I might even say the same of you. So don't press me. One of my eyes might be made of stone, but that doesn't mean I'm blind to the obvious. I hope Lazel makes you happy. I was looking for excitement. All you gave me was a dance. Oh, <laughs> oh that would be mean. Enjoyed our time together, but I want to be friends, nothing more. I won't pretend I'm not hurt, but I also won't deny that your friendship alone is a magnificent gift. If friendship is what you're offering, it's an honor to accept. That was... <laughs> that would be cruel. I do think the game could do a better job at signposting, like, when a choice means that you're starting a romance and when it's just like, hey, we're just hanging out kind of thing. It could do a slightly better job at signposting that. And it's also, like, it's a little frustrating that the game, like, just doesn't provide any information about... Because, like, it was a big part of the marketing early on that, like, polyamory would be a part of the game. But then there's really... It doesn't include any information or even any narrative hints about which characters might be interested with it. Like, for example, like, I, had, I felt like Lazelle would be open to it because she's like she's very specifically like no no this is not a romantic relationship really this is like but then apparently hmm which is a little odd like it's it's hmm. it could do a better job of like letting you know what you're actually getting into because otherwise it does feel a little cheap like you just sort of have to blunder your way through guessing games um, because characters won't speak plainly about it. And it's, like, it sort of puts you in a situation where if you're trying to roleplay, you get into a situation where, like, you do something that's actually kind of hurtful um, to other people. Like, emotionally speaking. But you don't really have the option to avoid it because the only way to find out whether something would work as a polyamorous relationship or not is to go for it, which is like, eh. The Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? You don't seem to be quite yourself of late. Is that so? Well, I hope you don't intend to make such a claim without some evidence to support it. What are you, a Phoenix Wright character? Well, you've been acting differently at camp, praying less, pacing more. Something's bothering you. True prayer needs peace, and serenity has proved elusive of late. I'll admit it. Staying true to Lady Shah has proved difficult at times. I found that my mind is prone to wandering, wandering to places I shouldn't go at that. Forbidden thoughts, hidden memories, all that Lady Shah would shield me from until I am ready. Sometimes, it feels like there's something just out of reach. Some truth on the tip of my tongue. And at times, I feel like I can almost voice it. When I ate the noble stalk, I remembered I had a friend. But all I have is a name and a face. There must be more. When I shared the memory from my childhood, you found it far too easy to make a connection to Saluna for my liking. Nothing is simple anymore. Sometimes it feels like all I have are doubts. I mean, that's healthy. 
<laughs> Everyone has doubts. You're not special. <laughs> and yeah, as Red Crescendo says in chat, let me discuss goals and boundaries with my lovers, Larry. Like, yeah, like, it's just... If you, like, it'd be nice just to have the option to sit down with them and say, hey, like, this is what I'm like. This is what I want. Can we make it work, right? And then for them to be able to say no, rather than you have to have the romantic scene with them and then, like, cut them off at the end. It's like, eh, it's just a little, you know. Um, but anyway, these doubts, where do you think they stem from? The Mother Superior must have had a reason to deny me the chance to become a Dark Justicia. Perhaps this is the reason. Perhaps I'm simply not worthy. Forget I ever said anything. I'm just indulging in thoughts best buried. Hmm. I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? Okay, that's... See if anyone else has any dialogue. Karlak? Hey, soldier. Nope. And I don't suppose Will has anything. Well met. No. Nor would he. It was a sweet scene with him. How can I help? So, the untouchable Karlak is untouchable no more. I shake her hand, but she can still snap me in two, so uh, uh, probably safest to skip it. <laughs> I never asked, are you Cazador's only spawn, or are there others like you? <laughs> Cazador? Sired seven spawn. Me and my six brothers and sisters. He always insisted we were a family, even when he was carving scars into our flesh. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all. But did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. And now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. Well, hello. What can I do for you? That is uh, heavy. Speak. And nothing and no one out here. Fair enough. Oh, right, because Halson is at the inn, obviously. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Must pet the dog sometimes. It's important. And also the owlbear cub. We should give him a name. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. You like it here, huh? Nice here. The caves. Okay. Well, I think that's... If I need warding bond. I'm gonna set up warding bond this time. There we go. Just, just, just gotta remember that because the reason why I gotta remember that is because we have been going for about two and a half hours, which is a good place to cut an episode. So, if you've enjoyed hanging out in the world of Baldur's Gate 3 with me, hit the like, comment, and or subscribe buttons down below. If you want more Baldur's Gate, uh, well, if you're on Twitch, you're getting it right now, but if you're not, eh, well, you're gonna have to either become a Twitch subscriber or a YouTube member in order to get access to the VODs of these streams, or wait for the edited episodes to come out as soon as my editor is done with them. But that's all the self-promotion I have to do, I think. So thank you very much for your time and your attention. Uh, remember to be kind to one another. Have solidarity with those who are worse off than yourselves. And may the tides of history wash gently over us all.